Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to clean and care your snow foam lens in case it's leaking or doesn't produce a thick foam anymore. And here are all the things you need. Table or bench vise, you can get the cheap one, just make sure the jaw can fit your foam lens. Rubber foam sheet to put in between the clamp or the jaw, just in case the vise is moving when you open the foam lens. Drain opener or caustic soda, vinegar, hand gloves so you will not burn your hand by the caustic soda, two bucket or anything similar, tiny brush, teflon tape, screwdriver and some wrench. You can see all the links in the description below. Push the pin from the nozzle. Remove the nozzle. Remove the nozzle blades using screwdriver. Then remove the connector and top dial if it's obstructing the jaw. You can also remove the pickup foam, sometimes dirt will block the tiny hole inside. Now remove the o-ring so it doesn't get squeezed by the jaw. Remove the end barrel. And pop the ghost inside. This is the one usually need to be clean. You can also remove this part and small injector inside connector barrel to check it thoroughly. But as long as there's no leaks and you can see a clear hole, then you don't have to. Now fill one bucket with water and pour the caustic soda. Put the gauche and parts you want to be clean. And leave it overnight outside your house. You don't want anyone mistakenly touching this. Now fill one bucket with water. And mix with vinegar to neutralize the parts from caustic soda. Brush and then rinse it with fresh water. Now before you touch everything back, make sure it's dry, you can use blower or leave it in the sun. Now put the teflon tape over every thread you have open so it will not leaking. The trickiest part is to get it straight like it was before. Now here's a little tips to prevent you doing this again anytime soon. After every use, remove the bottle, dip the pipe into a bucket of fresh water, 
Now start spraying to remove soap inside the foam blade. So you will not have soap scum build up. But make sure the water has no dirt in it. And then you can store it vertically. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.